So I figured I'd do something with this account today, my YouTube account. Um, I'm going to be doing a review on my BMAG. Uh, I was out here uh, yesterday, setting in a bit. So here's my setup right now. I've got the just a standard BMAG, nothing fancy to do with it. Uh, just a stock scope and a bull barrel on the gun. It's got the act trigger with the brand new uh, cock went down system on the bolt. So it only uh, activates your firing pin when the bolt is actually slid in and down. So far, love the gun. It's a very nice gun. It's got the rotary mag in it. Uh, there's only a couple things I have issues with it right now. Um, so first issue, your bolt lock turns. Your bolt lock is usually in here somewhere, but it's in the back here so you can actually short yourself when trying to chamber. So next is the rotary mag. It's actually a really nice design, very easy to use, just takes some practice to get the, the bolts in. And last thing, just for a quick review on this, um, your stock, you're going to probably have to get a replacement stock or you're going to have to glass it. Because this is, isn't a true free floating barrel, as you can see it's touching there, but not there. So that can cause you to have some flyers in your gun. Other than that, it's a very nice gun, I'm actually rather impressed with it. Um, I would recommend getting um, a better stock for like a wood stock or a, a better polymer stock. I've got my target set down at 100 yards. We're going to sight it in properly and then I've got some uh, special targets that we're going to take a couple shots at. So I'm making my way back to the target right now. I'm going to check out how the grouping is and uh, I'm going to set up some uh, special targets right away. So with the wind we have right now, they are, you know, kind of shooting off. But that I'm happy to see. That's a little bit off there. And those few I'm very happy to see. And then I think I flinched on this one here. But that's nice tight and grouping and that's nice and tight. So personally, I'd recommend getting a stock either from Boyd's or from whoever you get it from. Get a new stock. Uh, that free floating barrel is the main thing you have to main thing you have to worry about. They just the polymer that they use in those stocks is just way too soft. Um, they show one with something stiffer. Um, I would recommend spending the extra 200 bucks and getting the the thumb hole stock right off the bat. But for me, I want the tactical style stock, so that's what I'm going to get for my gun. I got special uh, special targets out there. I'm going to load only two shells into my gun. That's all I'm going to use to hit those targets. I'm trying to show you how to load this, but simply all you have to do is press it down, then out, and then slide it in. That's how simple it is. So I'll sit at 90, 95 yards, uh, give or take, and uh, got those two targets on there, so let's see what happens. Before, this is cocked down system, so you slide your bolt in, your extra pops out, Push it down, and now you're you're cocked. Okay, let's see if I can make one of these things go boom. Okay, last shot. <laughs> Proof to you guys, there's the first bullet, and there's the second one. Two shots. That's all it was. Those targets I was uh, shooting at, the exploding ones, they're called Firebird Exploding. They are like the greatest thing I've ever bought. So these ones you have to be careful with, these do contain uh, an explosive, they're not uh, water vapor like tanner it is or whatever tanner it is. These ones do catch fire. See the burn marks on there? Um, I was shooting I guess a little bit off but that's because I was trying to record while, uh, while shooting and uh, wind doesn't help that either, not that I'm trying to make excuses or anything but that's just how it is otherwise i'm very happy with the gun uh, i would recommend getting them just buy a different stock just to show to you guys uh this is scorched and whatnot uh, so i'm assuming by the flash and whatnot it is black powder so you have to be careful with this so hopefully uh next time i come out shooting i'll have uh, the new stock from boyd's i'm getting a tactical uh pro farm i believe it's called I'll have the, the action and the barrel, all that fitted into the stock, and hopefully by then I'll have uh, a scope that I'm going to try out. I haven't seen any reviews on it. The scope's made by uh, Scorpion Optics. They have a new uh, scope system, so you can do long range shots like in a snap. RDS stands for range dial system. I'm going to order one, see how it works, see if it's worth the money. I'm just kind of trying new scopes for this gun. I wanted to be able to do long shots. 
hopefully next time I come out I'll have a better camera with me so I can get a better close-up of the fireball from the firebird exploding targets because it was really neat seeing them in the scope. But hopefully that kind of gives you an idea on what I think about the BMAG. I think it's a nice gun. There's a few things that, uh, that Savage should have changed in it, but basically it was whoever can get the gun out fastest gets the most money for the, for the gun. Um, but I like it. I'd recommend getting a Woodstock for it first.